Hi, it's Doug Liner with Patch of the Week, and today's Patch of the Week is called The Autonomic Surge. Uh, there's been a lot of interest recently in self-composition with modular synthesizers. I call it auto-composition, some people call it noodling, and in fact I contributed to a, uh, an album on Aural Films label recently, which was a compilation of what they call noodles. Anyway, uh, I like to call it auto composition, and I'm calling this patch of the week the autonomic surge because, like the body, where we have an autonomic nervous system and uh, certain autonomic functions, we can set them up on the surge so that it kind of runs on its own. Now, what I have going here right now is a patch that's built of a lot of the techniques and, and patch elements that I've shown you over the last year. Uh, I have a patch, one row uh, of a sequencer and programmer here, and it's tuned to uh, yeah, a scale, and I have two oscillators, a zero oscillator and a precision VCO from the Sound Transform Systems m -boat. They're both being controlled by two sample and hold circuits. Those are created by two stepped function generators on the mystery surge. The, the uh, input that they're sampling is the output of the top row of the programmer. The sample command is being sent from two envelope generators, early envelope generators, and they're going through filters and a VCA and out. So a rather typical uh, signal pathway there. Now, in order to make this something that plays itself, you have to introduce some other elements into it. And so I'm going to start introducing them here. The first thing that we would do in this case, of course, is to start the uh, sequencer and programmer going so that we would have some pitch changes. Now that's going to result in a rather uh, cyclic uh, version of the patch, and so you're, you know, it's, it's not very autonomic or self-composing. But what we do first of all in a patch like this is we add some random elements, and I'm going to plug into the smooth output of a random voltage generator. That's controlling the speed of the clock that's running the sequencer and programmer. It's also controlling the duration of the two envelope generators. And by the way, I forgot to mention that the envelope generators are dividing a master clock that's created by this negative slew. So now you can hear that things are slowing down uh, and speeding up and that the selection of pitches is changing because the relationship between the clocks that are controlling the sequencer and that are controlling these voices, i.e. the two envelope generators, are not the same and they are changing against each other. Now that's all nice and it's already creating some nice options, but to kick this up a notch, what I'm going to do is take the window side, the window outputs of these envelope generators. What that is, is a variable duty cycle pulse or uh, gate output of each of these. I'm going to use those to control each other's hold function and that's creating a feedback loop between the two envelope generators. And so now what's happening on each of the envelope generators is, con con is going to control or contribute to the control of what's happening on the other one. So each envelope generator is being controlled by a random voltage affecting its duration and by the opposite envelope generators 
window output, which is controlling hold, i.e. turning on and off the other envelope generator. And so you can hear now that it's really quite a complex thing as it goes on. And of course, you know, the whole idea of auto composition or a noodle is that you can just let it go, not just for a few minutes, but for a long time. In fact, for years and years around here, I've uh, made auto compositions and we've gone about our way about the house all day long while they just change each other. I know a lot of other modular synth players that do the same thing. So, what you might do throughout the day is come up and change some aspect of it. Like here I'm going to get rid of the attacks on one of them. come by every half hour, every hour or so, whatever fits you, and uh, change up a couple of things. And then you can listen to that version for a while. So that's it. That's a patch of the week, the Autonomic Surge. Thank you.